I'm Jessica Patterson of Spinning Shadows Fiber Arts, and guess what just came in the mail? Um, this is really exciting. My uh, mom is, loves looking on eBay for spinning wheel stuff and stuff for our future studio. And one of the things she found was a Remco little red spinning wheel toy from like the 70s. Um, this is one I haven't seen this size before. It's all red and well it just came in so hopefully it's all in good condition and I'm just really excited to show this to you and add it as part of our future studio. This is going to be on display on somewhere. We're really excited because we love spinning wheel stuff and spinning stuff so that includes um, stuff that's decorative or um, just for display mostly display purposes. Now from what I've read these are actually functional <laughs> for making um, I-cord um, it, or cord. It's a knitted cord for um, you can make sew it and make like little rag rags and stuff. It's really fun. I used to play with knitting dolls when I was younger. Um, you know, just make one big length of knit cord, and it's really fun. I never, I thought these toys were just like, you know, for like a knitting doll where it was just, the wheel was mostly for show. But I think these actually are a little bit automatic in that um, you turn the wheel and it knits the cord, I think. I'm, that's what I read in the description. So I'll be really cool to find out for sure. And the coolest thing is that this comes in the box. So, oh, there it is, look, look, look. Junior size, e, look at that. E, okay. Oh, look at that. Okay, nothing else in the box, okay. Set that down. Let's see. For girls, it's great. Complete with a hank of wool. Copyright 1963. So this is older than I thought. Oh wow. Look at how how yellowed the box is. Oh my goodness. That is just cool. Now let's take a look at the wheel. Oh my goodness, look how cute! I'm just in awe. Look at this! Oh, look! Oh, goodness. So... It's cute. Okay. So I think well, this is the front. And it looks like something sits, is supposed to sit there. Here's the little bobbin with wool on it, I think. I don't know if it came with a bobbin or what, but I think that may have supposed to be set there. I'm not sure. So that is the wool. Here's the, oh, well, that must be what that's for. There, and let's see. So that, like that. And here is the instructions. Look at that. That is so cool. It shows you can make hats and purses and coasters and scarves. You can pretty much make anything with iCord. So, how oh, cool. It's got the history of spinning. And it shows you how to put it together. And so we don't have the needle. We'll have to get that in the future. Um, let's see. That is just cool. So this this works just like a spinning doll, actually. Um, and then the turning 
just um, just turns the little turns the little head here. So um, let's see. It's a little. Let's see which way is it turned. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Large red wheel to the left. So that would be that way. Woo! Okay, yeah, so it, it does move, sort of. Yeah, I'll leave that. <laughs> anyway, look at how cool that is. This will be on proud display in our future studio, this little Remco, little red wheel, spinning wheel. And we are hoping to add its larger cousin. There's a bigger one that is red, and then it has like a tan base to it, sort of looks a little more like this picture here. And um, both of them, if we manage to get our hands on them, will be on display in our future studio. So thank you for joining me for unboxing this adorable little piece of history here. Um, I am not much of a toy collector, but when it comes to spinning, this is going to have a special place in my heart. So yeah, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what do you think of this Remco little red spinning wheel? Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Um, they really, really knew how to make them in the 60s and back then. Anyway, moving on to other exciting things. Stay tuned for more. And as always, have a great day. Ha, ha, ha.